The days you'll come and join us We'll live in harmony We all the day is near And the venue find us here At the logo history I wanted to go see that movie. Well, not me. I'm inside the home. Red, what are you doing? Don't you know it's local history? Yes, I know it. You're watching Alvin and the Chipmunks again? Yes. When I do this, it gives me jump scares. Wait, Alvin and Chipmunks? This is logo history. You know what? I'm starting it. Sorry, guys. That was red. He's down there. I will get you. Oh, shut up down there. Anyway, as I was saying, this is local history time. And today's local history is hit entertainment. Red, you will now do bonus local history as in punishment. Well, before we start, this block will be used today in my channel. Because the hit entertainment globe was kind of a little stingy. See, this is head entertainment. Anyway, let's get this, I mean, uh, let's get things started. This one was used in 1983 to 1989. This was the American release of Shine Time when it came out. Do you want to know what hit means? It means Henson. International Television. Hanson Activist Incorporated. I can't read what it says in the copyright day. I don't know why they use that in the Muppet Show because that copyright date is too hard for me to read. Like, why would you do that? This one was used from 1989 to 1996. The last version was used in 1996, in my opinion. You might be wondering, the hit logo was officially used, and it says Communications PLC. And these are the hit lasers. I'm making something for entertainment logo bloopers. It's my first logo bloopers ever. Here's the silhouette version of it. It's not shiny because well, it looks like kind of a fraction. That small down. The date is not found because these logos are gay. Hey. There is. It, it only says hit. We'll change its name to hit. Entertainment Piece LC. And you know what it says? It says distributed by Hit Entertainment PLC. And we got a French version with fixed color. Why would they do that? Here are some frames of this logo. Here. We got a print version of the entertainment logo. And here we have the colored version of the print logo. This logo was used from 1996 to 2001. Well, that was from USA only. Here's a shining version of the glow. Like, <laughs> and you know what they introduced? A glow. This glow wasn't introduced until the hair entertainment globe. The third. 
It's for the USA only. I found six variants at Logopedia. One has the the URL and the distribution notice. One has the switch version and widescreen version. One has just has the distribution notice. Buddhist. One in the widescreen version of it. One has the full screen version of it. Wait, is that say boomerang? <laughs> Here we have the uh I can't see what it a real world map of it? Okay, this is starting to get weird. Here we have the widescreen version for what it says C I C W dot co dot UK. Here we have this logo. Well, why is it your screen? I can see China up there. This one used for UK only. That one's used for Thomas and Friends DVDs only in the UK. Here's that brand of that logo. It used Hit Video. Hit never got its video, so Next one, next one. This is the only beret year used in 1997. A lot of you have maybe been asking why was this in a pop Bob the Biller pilot? Well, it was only used for surfactual reasons because they wanted to show that logo only in the Bob the Biller pilot. I don't know why they do that. Here's my favorite stars. Hit Entertainment PC and the normal Hit Entertainment. Those guys were you. Those guys were used in 2001 to 2007. Here's the brains of so many Hit Entertainment PC logos. Oh my God! I <laughs> here's the one with the shining one. <gasps> the shining on my face. And here. It's the one we have, the prototype version. I mean, this globe can't even act straight. Here's the one with the finalized version. Oh, I guess you yeah. Here's the one with the widescreen version. Here's the one with the open Mahi version. Here's the one with URL and distribution notice. Here's the one with the show logo. And Thomas copyrighted in the URL and distribution notice. Here's the one with the URLs at distribution notice. Here's the one with the Altworld version. Here's the one. With the Here's the one with the URL at distribution notice. Two times. Here's the one with the rare distribution notice. Here we go. We have the. Entertainment version and the most favorite one, that guy. There's the finalized version of it because this was a still image. This one's used for widescreen version, another widescreen version, and another widescreen version. A URLs, a distribution notice, is the URL and the distribution notice. And here's the widescreen version of that. Sorry, I have to change it. Here's the... Sorry, my camera quality is kind of rough. Here's the URL modes. And it... Todd World. Man, I hate that show. Whoops! Well... Here's the Thomas and Friends PBS Kids version. Of that. Here's the Tons of Friends copyrighted notes. What? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Open your eyes. What do you see? Uh, you do local history. I'm scared of the big entertainment globe logo again. I'll just lie here until the medics get here. Okay, I'll do it for you. Let's jump to the next one, shall we? Here are some extra logos of that. 
Here is hot animation that was used for Bob the Builder. Here is a hit wildlife. Want to see the ocean video of it? I'll show you. Here it is. Wait a minute. Why does it swim? All locals can't swim. <laughs> Here we have is the home entertainment version. This was used in Barney the Dinosaur in France. Here we have the hit consumer products. This is the one that got rid of the piece, PLC one. And just hit entertainment. Here we jump to 2007 to present day. Look at that fat logos look. And then that plain text and the trademark in it next to the block. We have so many frames. And by the way, we found six. One has a shadow one. One has the autoplay version, which we have at home on Thomas and Friends DVDs. One has the copyright. I noticed. You know what it says? It says, a hidden entertainment production. 2015. Mattel in Incorporated. One has the distributed worldwide by hidden entertainment. One has the hidden entertainment logo. One has the hidden entertainment logo again. But this time, same copyright. What is wrong with you people? I guess that's all for today. And now it's time for... Bonus oh, logo, logo time. time. Da -da. That's right. It's a new segment that we called it. Bonus logo time. And today's bonus logo is... On-screen logos. From 1996 to 2006. Here's some Thompson Friends images that we found. One has the Bert Offcroft Company production. One has the Nick Jr. version, which is not the Nick Jr. we currented today. One has the widescreen version of Nick Jr. One has the 2003 copyright. And the rare version of that. One has a 2014 copyright. Stop squeezing me! One has a small version. One has a Thomas Halloween Adventures in it. One has a 2005 copyright notice. One has a PBS Kids version of it. And one has the widescreen version. Next show is Fireman Sam. Oh, I guess they only use that word. Bumper Films for S4C. I can't read what that copyright said. Here we have the magic key. I don't like magic keys. It's for BBC. Thomas was never aired on BBC! And also, why did BBC got schools? <gasps> oh! Next show is Pingu. Oh, hot. One has a 2003 logo. And I also have a widescreen version of it. With the PLC version. One has the normal hit entertainment version. Now we're back at 2007 to present day. And Thomas and Friends only use that logo for hit entertainment's copyright notice. Here's the Thomas and Friends logo they used. Now here's a hated show that Elijah hates is Wobbly Land! And it's only for the UK. Nick Jr. is there and Brown Bag Films is there? Why is it? Why is Logos always cameo? There is Bob the Builder in there. Hot animation and distribution for hit entertainment. And here's Mike the Knight. The final one that used the copyrighted notice before him. 
Mattel Television could take over. Ooh, I think the local history's done. I'm gonna go tell him to wake up. Hey, you're gonna wake up now. Ugh. Come see, it's over. Wow, it's over already? Did you take over for me? Yes, I did. Well, good job. You will now host a new segment called Bonus Logo Time, right? Yeah. I think so. I'll just sit right here and call it for my turn. Okay. Thank you for watching Logo History. And coming soon on Logo History is... NBC... With six peacock feathers. You can watch a video now. Okay. Well, that got off my chest. What? What's happening? What happening? <laughs> what he doesn't know that I added a jump scare that will scare him out of the window. A jump scare? What do you mean? I need to go. <laughs> Oh!